All right, guys. Just got done with the uh, workout. As you can tell, I'm a little sweaty. <laughs> it was a good workout today. Um, I don't think I'm going to change clothes, though. We're just going to take it straight out to... Uh, there's a park right down the road from my house. I think I'm going to go out there and uh, get a little run in and uh, just see how I feel. There's music starting in noon. All right, guys. We uh, made it to the park. Check it out. It's on the uh, it's on the river, so we're gonna have a pretty good view. But we're gonna get this knocked out. I'm gonna try to get for about 25 minutes today. So we'll see kind of the distance on that and see how I feel. But uh, we'll uh, we'll get to you after the run. So guys, we're about a mile in, about 12 minutes. I haven't ran this long in almost 10 years. So so far so good. Uh, the shoes are holding up real nice. I like them so far. Uh, I'll meet, meet back with you at the truck. All right, guys, I got the run done. Uh, I ended up doing um, 1.7 miles in 25 minutes. It's not, it's not good, but my uh, side started cramping pretty good after about a, about a little over a mile, so I pretty much walked the rest of it. But uh, we're slowly getting there, making gains every day. All right, guys, so we're down to 289. So we're getting there slowly but surely. Um, I'm gonna go hit the store real quick and get some groceries and uh, probably get some meal prep done today and I gotta cut the grass. So I'll uh, kind of show you guys a little bit more of my uh, meal prep routine and how, I, how I've been doing all my food. So I'll be back in just a few minutes. guys we got the chicken we got some rice and some oats I got plenty of broccoli at the house all right guys we're gonna start a meal prep I always start a meal prep with the uh, rice cooker and I got some new rice. Uh, I haven't tried this brand yet, but I'm gonna try it and see. I mean, most of the rice is the same, but I like it. It gives uh, the meals a good flavor. So, but the rice cooker is the way to go if you get rice, man. You put it in there, hour later it's done. You ain't gotta think about it or nothing. So uh, I'm gonna measure this out, put it in here, and we'll pop it in the rice cooker. All right, guys, so we got one cup, two cups of rice and about three cups of water. Just set it down in the rice cooker. And close it. Plug it in. And literally all you do is you click brown rice. And it's done. When this is done cooking, the alarm will go off. And you won't even have to think about it. So I'll put the nutrition on this. It's uh, 150 calories per serving and a serving size is about three quarters of a cup. So I usually use about half a cup of rice in each meal. So it's gonna be a little less than calories. I might add a little more rice cause I've been feeling kind of hungry uh, at the end of the days, just cause I've been up in my workouts. I started doing uh, some cardio on top of my weightlifting. So I'm doing a lot more um, high intensity stuff. So uh, I might add just a little bit of food, but so far, so good. Um, I'm gonna get the chicken prepped. Usually I just cook that on the grill. I think this time I'm gonna bake it in the microwave though. Um, microwave, bake it in the oven. So I'm gonna get all that prepped on the cooking sheet and get the oven ready. So I'll show you how I do that. The way I like to do this is I put my chicken in the sink. I wash it off a little bit and I put it on the tray and then I season it afterwards and then it'll go in the oven. But I don't cut my chicken up uh, until after it's done baking. I just feel it's a little easier after it's cooked to cut it up and put it in my meals. This is the uh, rub I like to use. It gives it a lot of flavor and doesn't have any calories. It's pretty much sodium, so 
All right, so we're gonna set the oven to 450. All right, and whenever that gets done, we'll pop it in the oven. Usually I cook my chicken for about 20 to 25 minutes, but uh, for the last like five or 10 minutes, I like to turn the oven on broil just to kind of give the chicken a little uh, crispiness to it. I don't really like having it uh, soft because I microwave it, so the microwave kind of makes it soft as it is. So, all right, so whenever this gets out of the oven, I'll uh, kind of show you guys the end product. All right, guys, the rice just got done. Check it out. If you ain't got a rice cooker yet, you gotta get one of those. But the chicken's done too. We're going to put these in the containers and uh, meal prep's done for this week. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the scale out and get the containers and uh, we'll put this up. All right guys, got all the food packed up, good to go. Um, each one of these meals has about 500 calories in them and uh, it's really low in fat. It's only three grams of fat. 62 grams of carbs and about 57 grams of uh, 62 grams of protein and about 57 grams of carbs. So it's not bad meals. Um, I get my fat and my my carbs mainly in my breakfast, and uh, I get a little more protein through my protein shakes throughout the day. So we got this done, and uh, I'm gonna throw it in the freezer. And I got a little left over, so I'm gonna eat that for for my lunch, and kind of relax the rest of the day and do some laundry and stuff so y'all uh hope y'all have a good day and i uh heard a quote the other day from my dad actually and it was uh the hardest day you've ever had was yesterday so i'd like to see what you guys think about that leave a comment down below and uh we can kind of discuss it and uh i want to get you guys thoughts on it because to me that just tells me that you got to work harder today than you did yesterday. And yesterday is going to be your toughest day you've ever had. So why would you not work just as hard, if not harder today, to try to push yourself to be better than you were yesterday? So, all right, guys. We'll see you guys uh, in the next video. But leave a comment, like, subscribe, and uh, we'll talk to you then.